Hey friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jody and Marie. On this channel, I get into lifestyle, beauty, and clothing. So if you're interested in any of those things, definitely continue watching and like and subscribe. So guys, as you can see from the title, today is how we're going to transform from looking like this, a basic, regular, to looking like an Instagram model, IG baddie. So I'll give you a little rundown. A IG baddie, like, we all know what an IG baddie is. It's the beautiful people that we see on Instagram that promote their pages, promote clothes, promote makeup, promote other businesses stuff, basically. On Instagram, they model, but they don't high fashion model. They basically take pictures for Instagram, you know, like Instagram influencers. They get the names Instagram baddie because they're normally beautiful, normally always aesthetically pleasing so today i wanted to bring a look that will make us look just like them on a regular day and transform our regular everyday look with some tips and tricks start looking like some instagram baddies okay bad girls okay of course guys before you can even become a bad girl with your look a bad girl is about what's on the inside confidence okay thinking for yourself those are baddie qualities so let's jump right into this makeup guys i'm not blabbering no more right, so as you can see i already came on camera with my eyebrows done instagram baddies are known for their thick full eyebrows so i had to give you that look today yes this is the thickest i can get my eyebrows to go guys but it is super full and super dark which is very much an instagram baddie look so instagram baddies always do like a mixture of I wouldn't want to say full glam. They're not all the way full glam, but they're like halfway, three quarters of the way, 80% there to full glam. So today I'm going to start out with two foundations. I'm going to start out with my Huda Beauty foundation stick and my NARS. I really love this foundation stick because I think it has one of the best colors of all my foundations. So that's why I'm going to go in with this first. Then I'm going to lightly put some NARS on top. Just gonna start off with two lines on both cheeks. I already, of course, moisturized my face and put on SPF. I came back to so still boring. Oh yes. Oh yes. I haven't used this foundation stick in a little minute, and I totally forgot why I loved it. And then that just showed me why i loved it so much okay because the coverage is amazing and the color is really good like as i said one of my bitch best shade matches yes we know we live in the world of fenty beauty where everything should be easy to find your shade but i know i still don't have my perfect shade in any foundation not even miss fenty okay guys i just love these two products mixed together because look at the coverage. Look at the coverage. And that's what you need. A good base for an Instagram baddie look. Because all our favorite Instagram baddies look like they have the most amazing, flawless skin makeup always. So that's what we need to accomplish today. Flawless base. Guys, you know I'm very backwards. I do my face, then I do my eyes. So don't come for me. I did not send for you. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade White Sand because Instagram baddies always have super bright highlights. So we're gonna get that nice bright highlight going on. That's why I picked this. And I will be mixing, actually, actually, since my NARS is more peach, I'm gonna be putting on NARS first and then we'll be putting on the Too Faced. We're just going to let this sit for two seconds, and then we're going to blend it all out. eyes and that's my first layer of concealer I have dips under my eyes so certain eye brighteners and certain concealers help me to basically eliminate the look of that 
under eye dip okay that's why sometimes you'll see me go in with two concealers now i'm gonna go in with the Too Faced born this way sculpting multi sculpting concealer and the shade warm sand is like pro tip actually in makeup regardless if you're trying to look like an ig baddie or you're going for a simple look definitely put your concealer right in that sweet spot between your nose and your eye this is going to help you really snatch that nose and con contour that nose okay ig baddies always have a snatch tiny looking nose so we have to get that nose snatched today so i'm just going to make this sit i'm going to go in with my foundation stick from anastasia beverly hills to contour First, you guys know I put this at the highest point of my cheeks because I have a more round face. So I need to give my face more definition. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna just blend out my contour I got this new brush from elf I got it in Target I love that they sell um Sonic Hashik and elf brushes in Target now really love that for me so it's like oval but it's like long and oval so I'm gonna be using this for my contour A good look at your under eye make sure you blend out any creases it's gonna take my Laura Mercier loose translucent powder my morphe m44 8 brush I'm gonna tap off some of the excess because you know brushes take up like way more powder just like that and we're gonna bake I don't normally bake but for an IG baddie look you have to bake you got to make sure you're set to the gods okay powder down so I'm just gonna go with this under my eye Don't judge me. This palette is super janky. This is my MAC Medium Contour Palette. I don't even, I can't even tell you the story without getting you all in my business of how I broke this. But I will be using this shade right here. I totally forgot what shade this is. If I can find out, I will let you guys know in the description box down below. Just so gonna take that shade, blow away the excess. Now, I'm going to brush the excess powder away from under my eyes. With the face for right now, I will finish that up. I'll finish up my face just in a minute. I just want to do the eyes first. I am going to take some more of that loose setting powder and just set my eyelids. And guys, I will say the IG Baddie Signature eye look has changed before everybody and their mom love cut creases. That's all they would do is do cut creases however but a more simple look is more popular right now which is actually my favorite look if you guys don't know anything about makeup and you're wondering how do they get like what eyeshadow look is that girls i got the tea for you today all they do they, are you ready for the major key all they do is put bronzer on their eyelids that's it bronzer okay that's what they do to get that smoky brown look guys it's just bronzer I'll be taking the same palette, but I'll be taking this um, deep, cool brown shade in the middle. As you see, the one that I used on my cheeks was more warm, and this is more cool. Although I'm doing it all over, I like to start with this cool tone in my crease. Using my Fenty Beauty bronzer in Caramel Cutie, because I literally think this is the best bronze color to put on your eyelids. Okay, so... See, it's more warm tone than the cool tone I was just using. Put it all over my lid with this shade. Swirl, tap. Okay, guys, so the only thing I don't have, sadly, is black eyeliner. I, I barely ever wear eyeliner because I normally wear false lashes, individual lashes, so I don't normally put eyeliner on. So I don't have any at this moment, so I'm just going to go in with my eyebrow pencil. It is in the deep mocha shade. Okay, guys, so I did my waterline. You can kind of see it. I will be going to the mall today, so guys, don't worry. I'm about to pick up some eyeliner. Let's finish up the face with some blush. Because every IG baddie needs some blush. Take it on the tip of my angular brush like that. Pat it away, and I don't go at the apple of my cheeks, guys. 
as I said, my face is already kind of round. So I don't want to accentuate the roundness of my face. So I don't go to apples. I go right in the middle, right there. But you know, Instagram baddies need thick, fluffy lashes, which I normally kind of get when I do individuals. But I actually took all my individuals out because I'm going to get a new set in a couple days. So I bought these lashes. I envy. I bought these from my beauty supply store and I kind of like how they look. Guys, do you see how fluffy those are? Okay, guys, my lashes are on. I love them. They are big and full of volume. Just like an IG baddie would. Now we got to get to the lips, guys. You know, the biggest trend on the internet right now when it comes to lips is overlining your lips. Using Max Chestnut to line my lips. I really just want like a very small amount. I'll be using my MAC Velvet Teddy, one of my most favorite nudes. Spray. I love Morphe setting spray, guys. Literally my favorite setting spray, okay? And guys, this is the finished look. My hair is flipped at the back. It's because I actually did this hairstyle by myself. Let me know if you guys want to see when I do my hair myself. And I'll definitely try to record that for you. So I just have a little flip right here. And a little flip in the back. And this is what the face is giving. Is she not giving IG daddy vibes, guys? My made back, black mad Bitch never left, but I'm back at it. And I'm feeling myself, Jack Rabbit. I'm I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling my, feeling myself. Guys, let me know if you like the look. Let me know if you guys tried it. Let me know if you guys use any of the tips. Definitely let me know if you guys try your IG baddie look. Leave me a comment down below. I want to see how all of you guys look. And mwah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.